Cloud9 said, oh my God, he has like 851 beats in his store. That's crazy. But what you shared with me is that you've actually created 4,500. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, so let's talk about um, that growth and, you know, how, how you consider things to make the cut. What's worthy of selling? What, what do you do when you're just practicing and you're not using a beat? Like, how do you recycle the things that um, you're working on? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, I think originally, um, the reason I brought up that I that I had made forty five hundred beats was uh, the question was like, what are some some accomplishments that we can mention or things that you're proud of? And mm -hmm. and I I mean in full sincerity that I'm most proud of the fact that I have spent that much time and worked on that many beats because at the end of the day, that's the only thing that I can control. Mm -hmm. is how much time I put in, you know, um, how many followers you have, uh, what placements you have, um, you know, whether or not, you know, you're getting reposted, whatever it is, those are all external things that like, it feels like we have control over it, but we really don't. Like at the end of the day, there are certain algorithms and things that are like controlling everything. Right. And so at the end of the day, you really can only control how much time you put in and how much time and love and energy that you put into like your craft. And so that's the thing that I'm most proud of. Um, but I just say that to encourage people that like, yeah, I have 850 beats in my store. I have some other beats posted elsewhere. Um, and I made you know, 4,500, which are like, that's not a final beat. You know, that's me sitting down, you know, maybe it's a quick loop. And then if I'm not feeling it, I'll just like export it and move on to the next thing. I try not to get like hung up in every single thing I make has to be the best thing ever. You know, you just gotta, you gotta keep moving because it, it literally is, it's just all practice. So, um, you know, I guess what's the percentage 4,500, you know, a thousand of those are actually full final beats, you know, it's a, it's, it's a low percentage of, of stuff that actually make the cut. But when you take that mentality and you allow yourself the freedom to just try things while you're creating, then you don't have this pressure of like every single thing I make has to be really good, you know? Giving yourself that room and that freedom. So from beat one to beat 4,500, <laughs> what is uh, one thing that you've learned about yourself in your creative process? Or what is something that you've really decided that you really love to do and you could have only figured that out by, you know, trying new things? Well, that's a good question. Um... <laughs> you that about almost all of them. I no, I but these are these are good questions. I, um, one thing that I've learned. Um, one thing that I learned about my creative approach that I didn't think about before was I kind of view myself as a. <laughs> this is gonna sound weird, but I kind of view making beats as like somebody who does collages. Like, you know, if, you, if you're gonna go do a collage, you're basically taking a bunch of different materials. You know, you're taking a magazine, you're taking, you know, construction paper, you're taking all of these different things and you're cutting out pieces and then you're just like piecing something in together to make something new. And it's almost, it's like a weird puzzle. And uh, I started noticing the most fun that I have when I make beats is when I take a bunch of different sounds whether it's you know it's from records that i have or you know sound packs that i bought and i'm just like taking all of this different stuff and saying okay how can i piece this together to make something that sounds good um that's something that i learned uh it took me a while to learn but i learned like i really enjoy that um that process i don't know if that makes sense but no it does like just figuring out how to make use of the things you learn and I guess it's also funny to think about if you're like piecing other things together. Initially, you may have just been like, oh, I'm off this. I don't really like this. And then your mood changes or you're a different person in six months. And then you're like, oh, this resonates. So I think that's pretty cool that you're able to like strip things and, and move things around um, as you see fit. 